Milling lumber from logs is not difficult if you've got the right tools. Right here I am using a wood miser LT15. It's a very manual sawmill. But the first thing we're going to do is get the log loaded up onto the sawmill. So you can see the logs in the background there. And I've got a cant hook. This is used to roll the log either when it's on the mill or on the ground. Makes it really easy with the leverage. So I'm going to roll that log up to the ramps that were just uh, placed on the side of the mill. Now that the logs are, loaded, are close to the mill, we're going to raise up the winch that we have on the side of the log mill and bring up the log dogs that hold the log in place so that it doesn't roll over to the past the other side after we bring it up. I have to release the cable on the winch, take the handle off there. We're going to need enough cable to go over the log and then back to the winch again and that way it'll pull it all the way up tight on the other side of the mill for us to start our sawing process. After we get the uh, cable out, we have to roll the log back over top the cable because that log has to come over top, back underneath, and back over to the winch. I'm going to hook it back up, make sure everything's clear for us to roll that up. Get the Handle back on and roll this log up here. It's going to take a little bit of work to get that to come up there. It is a heavy log. There we go. We've got the log up on the mill. Now we're going to take the winch off of the log and get it released. I'm going to put the cable all away. And we're going to set the winch back on the ground so it's not in the way of the saw. We need to secure the log so that it doesn't want to roll while we're sawing it. So there's log clamps over on the side there. I'm going to secure those log clamps after I get that log up there nice and tight. Took the ramps off the side of the saw, and it's time to uh, bring the saw up to the log. Now this log's about eight feet long, and we're going to do a little measurement here. Let's see what we get. We're going to take the blade of the saw up and set it on the top of the log, and right there where I'm looking at the back of the saw is a tape measure mounted to the saw, and it tells me that that log on one end 
is about 12 inches off the bed and the other end it was 14 inches so it's not completely square it flares out a little bit so we're just going to take a little bit of the bark off the top for the first cut and just try and square this log up throw the hammer start the motor up give it a little bit of water which is the lubricant for the blade it's got a little bit of soap in it and push it across the log Take the throttle back, and let's get this piece of bark off here. We'll throw that in the back of the truck. That goes in the burn pile. And let's bring the saw back. Let's take one more cut off of this log. That will get all of the wane, they call it, or the side pieces of bark. That next cut is going to be one where it's got some bark on it. So we're going to take one more and we're going to take a one inch board. We're going to actually get a board but it's going to have live edges on both sides. There we go. We got our first board off. Well, this isn't a board that you could use right away. It's got bark on both sides, so it's got what we call live edges on both sides. So it might take some work depending on what you want to do with the board. We don't know what projects we have for it yet. So we're going to get the head of the saw back to the other end of the log. Now we need to rotate this log. We're going to make a cut and take some more bark off of the next side of it. So we're going to undo the log clamps on both ends. Set those up so that log can't roll back to you and off that bed. Grab the canned hook. And now we're going to rotate that log, but we're only going to rotate it 90 degrees. What we want to do is get it flat, that cut part we cut, with those log dogs that are on the side. Those log dogs are set at an exact 90 degrees to the bed of the saw, or to the saw blade itself. That'll give us, when we make our next cut on this log, that'll give us two sides that are cut at a perfect 90 degree angle to each other. Now that we have the log set at the 90 degrees, nice and flat with those log dogs, we're going to tighten the log clamps back on so it doesn't move on us. Make sure that the log clamp doesn't pinch it and hasn't moved the log at all. She's on there good and tight. We don't want it moving when we're sawed. We take the head of the saw, bring it back up. We're going to measure the log again. Set that blade on there and look at that tape measure. We're going to head back down to the other end and see what this end is. So it looks like we've got about 11 inches on one side, and again, we've got 14 on the other. So we're going to take a little bit more off the other end than we are this close end. We're just going to take a haircut off and get the bark off the top for the first cut. Throw the hammer over, get a little bit of water on there with some soap in it. Take this first cut off there. Turn that saw back off and get the bark off and throw that in the back of the truck again to go to the burn pile.
with the head back. And we're going to take another one inch board off. And again, you can see some of the bark on this side. We're going to take that bark completely off of there. We want to get to a point where we don't have any bark on the outside. We're going to have a square cant with no bark on the outside. Two. Okay, we'll get the head back at the uh, starter end of the log. And now we're going to roll the log. We don't have to worry about it being at a 90. Now that we've got two sides cut, we can just flip that right over onto its flat side. So I pull the log clamps back, grab the cant hook, and drop it right over onto the flat side. Clamps aren't in the way. Take our log dogs down a little bit. We don't want to hit those with the blade. Again, we're going to do a measurement. So it looks like we're at about 10 inches on this side, 10 and a half. This side over here is about 12 and a quarter. So again, we've got a little bit of height on one end and not on the other. I'm going to take this down to about a 10 inch. Get that bark off the top. Throw the hammer, put some water to it. inch. Let's take the board off of here to get all of the wain off, all of the bark off. One board. We'll have live edges on both sides. Time to rotate that log again. We're going to get these log dogs up here where they're going to catch it and help us to roll the log. Grab our cant hook and rotate it for the last time. Should be our fourth side. About 10 inches down here. No, it's pretty even because we've already cut the other side. We're not too far off. So we should be able to take about an inch off and get quite a bit of this bark off of the log and get it out of the way. Get one more board off here with live edges on both sides. Go down an inch, throw that hammer, and away we go. Should be our last board with bark on both sides. Live edges or wing is sometimes referred to. This is now referred to as a cant. It's been squared on all four sides. It's a big timber. Well, it's a good time now to take a measurement of this. I've got nine inches that way and 10 inches across that way. I like that 10 inch. And I'm looking at the pith in the end. 
the center of the log. And I can see some good boards coming right off the top of this. So we're just going to leave this log laying where it is and take a one inch board right off the top. Now when I say I'm taking a one inch board, I actually add an eighth of an inch to it. So I take a one and an eighth. It tells me the measurement up there in the saw. And here is our first good board coming off of there. It's got a little bit of bark on there, but not much at all. But that could be used as a inch and an eighth, throw the hammer, and away we go. Board after board after board. cut on this board goes way down close to the bed. This last two boards, the bottom one may be just a little bit bigger, but uh, it'll end up pretty close to what we've been cutting off of here. There we go. Our last cut on the log. We've turned it into lumber. We have four boards that have bark on both sides, live edges, and we have seven boards that are just straight boards to use on all the projects.